We got our uh, we got our resident Younglin here. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. What do you so, got for me? if the future is moving closer towards you know universal basic income, everything's going to be taken care of, cared for you. So my idea is you just play their game, but you play it better. And the only way you could do this is through uh, some sort of cryptocurrency based off Ethereum, unlimited coins. But you know, why do you go to college? You know, why do you work? You know, a lot of it is monetary based. Okay, so, so let's so let's just go back to the notion of Ethereum being part of the solution. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. So Ethereum is decentralized, mostly anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Unlimited tokens. Yeah. So why would the government give up their monetary system to adopt a blockchain-based system like Ethereum, like Ether? Well, you, you could say it's they're they're kind of like trying to get rid of crypto as is. They're not big fans of it because it threatens them, obviously. But the idea is if a currency besides, obviously there's going to be a fight for that, but if a currency could incentivize actions, and that this is how the future is going to move, and it's going to move in such a way where you're going to be incentivized to, let's say, oh, you're going to get paid if you walk your dog or if you recycle or if you drive an electric car or if you say hello to okay. your neighbor. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's all fine and dandy, but I mean, the, right. the problem still remains. The entire purpose of government, and I don't think that a lot of guys are getting this as they're watching this right now, even as they're coming in. The entire purpose of government is centralized control. Mm -hmm. Why would the government give up centralized control and power that they've exerted for decades? Like they've gone from, you know, we've gone from an environment where men were at the head of the household. They controlled their lives. Their house was their castle and all within were their vassal, like, you know, all that sort of stuff. They've, you know, we've gone to a place now where the state is the head of the household. The government gets to decide, even with your 12 year old kid in your, in your mm -hmm. household, what medical injections that they will take yeah i'm with you i'm so, with you there and so it, why would the government give up control of a monetary system that they have full right. control over mm -hmm. for something that they don't well we're not asking them to give up control it's something that like for example the government didn't give cryptocurrency the voice to have power or influence but yet it does so, so what you're talking about is convincing the public to adopt something Again, and, the problem still, you know, still come, it, well, comes back over to yeah. Exhibit A, where right. the public doesn't support that notion. The public tells us that by by their voting patterns, that they are supporting liberalism. They are supporting massive government with massive control. So you're not going to have them, you know, step away from that mm -hmm. so long as, you know, the vast majority of the population believes that that's good. See, people don't want freedom. Again, you know, they want free stuff. And exactly, exactly. And that's what this is. And it's free stuff based on actions and whoever is free the stuff from the government, action. free stuff from big daddy government, free health care, yeah. free dental, yeah. free accommodation, free food, free everything is, yeah. is better than Ethereum based blockchain stuff. Yeah, that's, that's their, uh, how do you say their actions? in order to benefit you. And so your solution is flawed because because it mm -hmm. assumes that the vast majority of the public is smart enough to see that as a better opportunity, right? And well, they're not. It, it's, it's dependent on the thing that they are receiving for the action. Is it valuable enough? Isn't that, that's where the... They don't... The vast majority of the public sees greater value in supporting big government. They still do. I, I mean, where do you live again? You live in the States, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, watch the election here on September 20th, I think it is. Um, you're going to see who, you know, comes out of this. And it's either going to be a minority liberal government or probably a minority conservative, which is really liberal light now here. Mm -hmm. um, that's what the vast majority of the population is going to vote for, which is going to mean big taxes, less personal freedoms, vaccine passports will still exist all that sort of stuff. It's like, you know, control, 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 control. Government doesn't want to give up on control. Government exactly. wants government wants you under their thumb. They want you under that thumb so that you're, you're controllable. They want you weak, now, they want mm -hmm. you stupid, and they want you plugged into lies. Now, using your example here, uh, so let's say, you know, you're talking about children and childcare, right? And yeah. often the mom will like go to work. So what if she was in that situation, she realized, oh, she could earn the same amount for that day 
but if she parented her own child and with incentivized cryptocurrency actions. And it's you want to have where does that money come from? See, and, and that's the thing. It's it's uh you would you would ha so a really great example of this is a website called Steemit, and they're trying to like implement this uh, action based where you earn money based on actions. And if you so if you drop off your child and say, oh, there's an alternative where I can make maybe half that amount of equivalency. Okay, but that doesn't exist. Like there's no program in, in, in place aside from mother's allowance and child tax credits and stuff like that. Like if you're a, like if you went to university and you got a STEM degree as a woman and you're making a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars $150,000 a year in some STEM field and you've got your kid, you know, at 39, you know, you pop out your first credit at 39 because you delayed mm -hmm. it all to chase a career sort of thing. The government's not going to pay you more than $150,000 that you're making working your STEM career to stay home and raise that child. They would rather say, go work your STEM career, you know, pay your taxes, put your put your child in our child care system. Yes. We'll take care of your kid. Just trust us because we're the government and we're good and we know it's right. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put them through our public school systems. And then we're going to indoctrinate them with all this stuff that's yeah. going to convince them to I, vote for more big government. Question. See, government keeps, mm -hmm. keeps the population in this never ending cycle of building itself up bigger and bigger and bigger I, I and you. fatter and slower. You. And the, the thing against that is that what does technology do? Technology squeezes out the middleman. It turns the horse and buggy. Right. But I mean, car. you're still, you're still relying on the fact that human beings are smart enough to see the opportunity in that technology and the upside people, people don't vote for freedom. They don't want that technology. They want free shit. It, it, mm -hmm. it's 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 always going to come back to this exhibit over here it's what are they doing like what is the population doing and that's what they're doing you see what i'm saying well it, it only comes up until i mean it's hey right? bd listen it's mm -hmm. you know it's a great idea it's a grand plan and i really hope that at some point the, a large part of the population wakes up and says f this mm -hmm. i'm going to take advantage of this de and, decentralized platform that that day may come it could be 10 years could be 50 years you know the entire monetary system could collapse and they're forced to go to it maybe the government's forced well, to move to it as well it's not dependent on it collapsing the idea here is like just like the horse and buggy to the car the value has to be so equivalent to that where it's just like as you say frying head to the to the forehead, frying frying forehead. To the forehead yeah. where it's just like oh i would much rather live this type of way if the technology was there to support it like uh vehicles at an affordable price now it's mm -hmm. just it has to be that now it's, it's asking a lot but it seems like it could be the technology's there that's all I'm okay saying. i'm gonna stop you there i'm gonna wrap up on a few of these super chats and end the show thanks brother